in this video I want to show everyone on how to import survey data in Eastings, Northings and Elevations directly from Excel into AutoCAD. So these are multiple coordinates of points. So I'll just quickly show you guys on how to import it with the elevations directly, not just the X and Y, but with the H, the elevations. So to do just that, uh, you need to highlight everything, all your data in your Excel worksheets. You need to select all without the headings. So these are very multiple set of data and here we go. So after you select it, you right click, then you copy. When you copy without the headings, you minimize, then you go to your notepad. Then on your notepad, you right click to paste the copied coordinate. So you can see it here with a spaced in between. So what you have to do, you highlight the space, you come to edit, navigate to replace, then you can see the space has been pasted here. Then under this replace, you click on that. Then you type comma. So what you want to do is to replace the space with a comma so that all your values can be separated with a comma and not a spaced. Do we get that? So when you are done with that, you click on replace all. When you replace all, you click on the cancel icon. Then you can see that the data has been separated with a comma and not a space. So you can see the Eastings values here, Northings values here, and the elevation respectively. Alright, so when you are done with that, you highlight, then you copy. When you copy all your data, you minimize your notepad, then you come to your AutoCAD. So I'll be using the basic AutoCAD in the course of this tutorial video. Alright, so when you come to your basic AutoCAD, the first thing to do is to set up your units. So you can refer to the video under the description or under the comment section to see how to accurate the set units. When you set your units, you click on OK. You click on Utilities. Then you come to Point Style to define the point style of interest. So I'll be going with this and you can edit your point size to any size of interest. I'll leave it at 2. Then if yours is on relative, check it to be in absolute units. Then you click on OK. Then after that, you come to the drop down at the draw. You click on that. Then you come to this icon, multiple points, you click on that. So it will give you the advantage to come to the command line, you come there to specify points. So this is where you are going to control V to paste all your survey data you've copied from notepad. So I'm just going to control V. So it will start plotting all your survey data at their respective accurate positions. So depending on how bulky they are, everything will be plotted. And when it is done, you'll be seeing the specify a point showing again. Then you click on escape to exit the command. In case you can't see all your survey points on the screen, you click on the zoom extent. You are going to see your data. So you can fact check each point by typing ID, enter. So this will give you an advantage to see the properties of each coordinate. Then you can click on the drop down at the end of the command line so you can see that is the property of that point the eastings nothings then the elevations therefore guys that is how to import multiple survey data eastings nothings and elevations into the basic autocad then lastly the beauty of importing with elevation is that you can check the undulation of points by converting it to a 3d uh, model of it so you can see these are points of high elevations and these are points of low elevations this point seems to be relatively flat of equal elevations here so that is the beauty of importing survey data with the elevations directly if you find this video helpful and informative do well to hit on the subscribe icon turn on the notification on this channel to keep getting valuable tutorial freely Thank you. See you in the next video.